Hey guys, me Adam Man here. Today I'm making a farewell video for my beloved 1990 Unos. This car has been with me for ooh, about five years. I've loved it, but I'm just not driving it enough because I have my 91 BRG and I'm busy. So I decided to put it up for adoption and somebody came along today and fell in love with him and is going to take him home tonight. So I figured I would make this farewell video and talk about the differences between a North American Miata or MX-5 and the differences between the JDM Unos that we have here. So this car is impeccable. It is in beautiful shape. The paint's beautiful. There's no rust. There's zero rock or panel rust, new tires, everything else. It has been babied its whole life. Um, on the odometer there, we've only got 27,000 kilometers on it. Uh, this is also a five-speed. It received a five-speed conversion. It started its life as an automatic car. Now we've also got the sill plates here, which have been added. And I'm going to hop in here for a sec, and I'm going to show you what is so awesome about the steering wheel. So underneath this Unos steering wheel cover, if we carefully peel this back like that, I'm being gentle here because this thing is 32 years old. Underneath there, we've got a factory Momo steering wheel. How cool is that? And that there is the factory horn pad that they put on it. So that there is a neat little feature that when I first got the car, I wasn't aware of that until somebody came over and ripped this thing off. And I was like, whoa, what are you doing to my car? And they said, don't worry, it's a Momo underneath. So there we are. This thing is one of the best examples of an NA Miata that you're gonna ever see. It's gorgeous. It's even got the original Roadster floor mats in it. Um, the other neat thing as well, being a five speed now, um, I can fire up the car without stepping on the clutch unless it's in gear. So if I have it in gear, that acts as the clutch switch. So, see, nothing. Now, if I pull it out of gear and put it in neutral, fires up right away. So that's cool. Now, if I put it, I'll put the clutch in. If I put it in reverse, it beeps, it's like a golf cart. It beeps to tell you it's in reverse. Bring it closer to the dash so you can hear that sound coming out. Yeah, one of the neat features. So between that beep and the perceived anti-theft device by just putting it in gear, it, it stops it from starting at all. So very cool, kind of a neat feature. Um, this car is also, being a Unos, it has the side marker lights on it. These ones have the nice chrome bezel on them as well that's been added, as well as the upgraded mirrors, which are awesome. It really sets off the silver with the chrome door handles and also the little chrome accents uh, for the hard top at the back there. There we go. Now, other things about the Unos that you may not be aware of is it has a marker light here that's not on any of the North American cars. And I'll flick the lights on for you in a second and show you that. Um, it also has a different center cap with the V logo on it. There. So that's the, those are the marker lights. So those are different to the North American cars. Uh, it also has the decal on the front bumper as well. And apart from that, it's basically the same. Um, what I should do is show you under the hood for some of the differences that the right-hand drive would need uh, in order to do the five-speed swap. Now, um, while I mention it here, it's also got the power windows and this one has air con as well. And it still works perfectly after 32 years. So let's take you under here. Now under here, this car has been, I haven't driven it really at all this year, so it's been stored in my garage tent. So there's been some oxidization on the valve cover, which is to be expected. 
that's pretty normal now this white dust you see here it just rubs off but anytime they're outside that aluminum oxidizes uh, the same here and on there as well so that's pretty normal apart from that this thing is original and very clean um, now the if you wanted to swap an automatic you know so make it into a five speed you have to have the correct master cylinder which is this one uh, mx5 parts uk i believe is where that came from when this thing was swapped so that there is a key piece of this whole the whole five speed swap and you can use i think exactly the same clutch slave cylinder although yeah, no, that is the same. The clutch slave is the same. It's just the clutch master that you have to source from the UK or Japan. So apart from that, though, I think it was a pretty straightforward swap. So there we are. So let's close the hood on this. We'll, we'll say goodbye. And I hope the fine gentleman that's receiving this car loves it and cares for it as much as I have over the years and gets a lot of enjoyment out of it so there you go guys that's uh that's the unos that i've been meaning to make you a video on for quite a while and unfortunately it's a farewell video but i'm happy that it's going to a new home so have a great day hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll make more videos soon